right, let's get into the nitty gritty because as you heard Brian mention, there are lots to get into. Let's start off with what I think would essentially be a big fight, but to some people, they don't even want this fight. Canelo Alvarez, John Ryder officially announced Canelo is going to be defending his undisputed super middleweight titles going down Cinco de Mayo weekend, Canelo weekend, pretty much as of late, as you know, Saturday, May 6th, going down in Mexico. Brian, what are your thoughts on this bout? What are my thoughts? What are the sports books thoughts? Uh, Canelo minus 1400 favorite. And I actually think that that's low. I'm actually surprised yeah. that it's not in like the 2000s. Uh, Min- look, minus minus 4,000. I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah, actually, I've seen that for fights, uh, particularly on one-sided undercards. But we'll get into that another day. Um, John Ryder, uh, look, I bet on him to beat Zach Parker in that last fight, though it happened mainly because Zach Parker broke his hand. People remember it was a fourth-round stoppage. Uh, I think he retired on the stool because he couldn't continue. Zach Parker was up on two scorecards, 39-37 at the time that the fight was stopped on uh, the other was a draw 38 38. I think I had a 38 38. That's not the here nor there. Who am I? Who cares? Um, ultimately this fight is just, it's a stay busy fight. It's fine. It reminds me of Canelo versus Rocky fielding. We'll get to Rocky fielding in a second. Uh, and it's just something that's going to be the appetizer until we get the rematch that I don't want, which is Canelo versus Dimitri Bivol too. I it's going to no go the interest. exact same way. That fight is going to go the exact same way the first one went. I have zero interest in Canelo versus Dimitri Bivol too. No. I have more interest in that than this though. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. I have no. I want Dimitri Bivol to fight Arthur Bitter BF, um, and I don't want Canelo to fight light heavyweights. So in regards to John Ryder. He has losses to Callum Smith, Rocky Fielding, and Billy Joe Saunders, all of whom Canelo beated and easily, for the most part, I might add. Um, I was there for the Rocky Fielding fight. That was December, I think, 15th in 2018 in Madison Square Garden. I was covering that, and uh, it sucked. Like, he just demolished <laughs> Rocky Fielding. It was bad. Yeah. It was after uh, the Triple G fight, which was, I think, three months prior, which is after Canelo had that suspension, if people uh, recall. Um Callum Smith lost a wide decision to Canelo Alvarez. And again, he beat John Ryder. Uh, Ryder's biggest win was against Danny Jacobs last February, a split decision. If they were outside of London, Chantel, I think that there's a real discussion as to who actually wins that fight. But they were in London, so it is what it is. Um, But he's the interim super middleweight champion, so we have to sort of watch this. And boxing, as we know, is often about what's next, not what's here. And uh, we're looking forward to, I guess, Canelo versus Dimitri Bivol too. Although I, again, don't want to see that fight. I want to see Canelo um, not fight light heavyweights that are probably going to beat him. Uh, that being Dimitri Bivol and potentially Arthur Bredovyev, I think would probably give Canelo the business too because he's big and active and strong. Though I think it would be an entertaining fight. Your thoughts on this are what? Finally, man! Finally, I get to talk. You gave me really good. <laughs> Did you want to take a breath, man? No. Um, I'm a New Yorker, yeah. yeah. I can't help myself. I mean, listen, um, I do essentially agree with everything that you're kind of saying. We got to remember, we talked about why Canelo wasn't a bigger favorite. That might probably be because he had wrist surgery. He took some time off before coming into this one. And so maybe I'm thinking they're like, you know, what is Canelo going to look like after his surgery? Listen, this is a fight that he's definitely going to win. This is essentially a tune-up. But, you know, if you talk to UK fans, they're going to tell you that we shouldn't sleep on John Ryder, 32-5-1, and 18 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Now, the one thing that I will give him, because I don't want to be like way too biased on here and on the mandatory, we aren't biased. We like to be very fair with this. He is a southpaw with a nasty right hook. Like his right hook is pretty nasty. Three fight win streak. You talked about that split decision over Daniel Jacobs. You mentioned he lost to Callum Smith. That fight against Callum Smith, that was a fight where people said that John Ryder got rocked. It was a controversial split. It could have gone either way. And his biggest fight, actually, his biggest win was against B- Bilal Akawi. Uh, back at the time, Akawi was 20-0-1. And, and that was for the WBA Super World Middle. And John Ryder showed off his power. He showed off his nasty right hook. And he got Akawi down twice in the third round. And then they stopped the fight in the third round. So that was his biggest win leading into that. And, you know, you mentioned Rocky Fielding. And he also lost to Billy Joe Saunders. And, like, he lost to Billy Joe Saunders, who also Canelo fought. But, you know, you talk to some UK fans. You talk to some UK fans, and they're like, yo, you know, they they feel like John Ryder is getting some type of, like, Aris Landy Lara treatment. I I don't think that's what it is. 
I don't think he's been robbed that many times. The Callum Smith one, yeah, it could have definitely gone either way. Uh, the Billy Joe Saunders one, very close fight. Like on the cards, I think two judges scored it 115-113, and the other judge scored it 116-114. I don't quote me on that, but I remember that one being extremely close. But John Ryder... I mean, he's no slouch. Like, he's been in the ring with some dudes. But against a guy like Canelo, I don't think this fight goes to six rounds. Especially, it's in Canelo's backyard. I yeah, mean, that's the other thing. If it was in the U- even if it was in the UK, like, I'm still taking Canelo. You know what I mean? This is a fight that is essentially a tune-up fight. Let's keep it real here. This is a tune-up fight. He just got wrist surgery. And we're probably going to see Canelo after try to remake that evil fight as Brian was saying. So, I mean, you know where I stand on this fight, but I'm just saying I tried to throw in some nice things about John Ryder for the UK fans, just in case, you know, no, he's good. Tuning in. He, yeah. he's, he's legitimately good. He's not Canelo Alvarez. It's fine. I've said the same thing about Edgar Berlanga um, in regards to him wanting the Canelo fight and I'm Puerto Rican, but yeah. yo dog, this is a different level that we're talking about here. And also, Edgar Berlanga hasn't looked quite great in his last few fights. John Ryder has at least won, um, you know, a couple of them, although he, again, debatable on the Danny Jacobs one, right? So I think with uh, Canelo Alvarez, to put a bow on this, like if we, you said that he would beat him in London, I think that if they were fighting in John Ryder's living room, Canelo will, will probably win that fight too. Like it's just uh, under, six, it under, under six, under right. six, under six. And, 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 he- when we, and when we talk about real quick, when we get to the actual betting component of this, yeah. which we will do closer to the fight, I am already circling and I will be sort of looking at Canelo Alvarez to win between rounds one and six group round betting. That's already the prop that I'm circling for that fight. Um, Yeah, I'm definitely going to take him by TKO. I think it's going to be stoppage. I have a feeling it's going to be like four through six. You could probably bet like one through six, five through eight. It could possibly happen in the fifth round. I don't know why I'm thinking like fifth round. Maybe he'll like John Ryder will survive till then but this is a fight where we're just going to see Canelo back in so disrespectful I I, feel I, bad I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. no no I, I mean he he does have he does have a nasty right hook and he does have speed but Canelo is just a, like he's elite he's Canelo Alvarez he's arguably pound for pound number on. 1 at one time pri- he was at prior, one time he was right prior to the Dimitri Bivol loss and he's still even after that pound for pound top 5 Right. So, yeah. I mean, look, it, there's a there's a reason that this fight is also in Mexico. John Ryder, if if he were a better fighter, I don't think that you would put this fight in Mexico. You understand? Like, I, I think that you would be you would put this in Vegas. Yeah. Like, this I, is, this is a, home, it, this it, is a was, homecoming yeah. for, to Canelo for a reason this is my point. Well, my whole thing is the reason why he's fighting John Ryder in Mexico after he's had wrist surgery is because he wants a statement fight. He wants to knock him out (laughs) in his backyard where people love Canelo. (laughs) It it is, it is, but it's also going to be disrespectful in the (laughs) ring. And listen, if you are rocking with John Ryder in this fight and you're like, don't sleep on him, we're not sleeping on him. We just know how good Canelo Alvarez is. That's all it really is. That's all it is. Like, I'm not saying he's a terrible fighter. He's been in the ring with some dudes, talked about his speed, talked about his right hook. Like, yo, this guy can box. He's no slouch. But Canelo Alvarez is elite at a different level. So if you got any comments, if you're rolling with John Ryder, if you feel like we're being disrespectful, let us know in the comments. Because I actually want to know what people think about this fight. Because I know for a fact when I saw it, I was like, ah, I'm happy Canelo's back. I'm going to watch yeah. it just for Canelo. It's not even the biggest I'm fight like, that weekend, though. No. It, because it, it, your, your, it, your boy Stephen Fulton is going to Japan, and he's going to see he's gonna see Naoya Inoue. And, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about that on another uh, segment. And uh, you're going you're, you're gonna, to you're gonna like that one, too, because me and Brian are on separate sides. But... <laughs> 